Every night, I look out at this beautiful sight. I imagine all the people of Earth, millions of them, looking back up at me. I was born in space on the journey to this planet. My people traveled millions of miles, following the radio signals coming from this solar system. They built a base on the moon. They visited the Earth and walked among the people. I've waited all my life to do that. The adults say Earth people are not ready to know about us. I think they're wrong, and I'm going to Earth to prove it. What was that? Tavi, Tavi, wake up. Oh, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. It's even better than television. It's so different from last night. Everything changes here. Your hair is changing color. So's yours. Must be something in the sunlight. Look! the bird, Tavi. You can see for miles.
Yum. Robert, don't you go back to sleep. Yeah, Mom. Right here. I'm coming, Mom. Ah. Yeah, so I'll, I'll talk to you in the morning, okay? All right, over now. Let's see. It's 10 a.m. in New York, 5 p.m. in Moscow, and it's 3 p.m. in London. Last night's log revised. Marlon is headed for a street fair in Greenwich Village. Nikki reported a hurricane in Tahiti. And here in Aladdin, Wyoming, where time has stopped, absolutely nothing is happening at all. Dirt, come in here. Good morning, Dad. Dirt, where is my payroll disk? I turn the computer on, all I see are spacemen trying to knock out the proton drive on my battle cruiser. I'm sorry, Dad. That's it. Oh, oh I uh, spotted two yearlings crawl the north fence. Find them. Check the fence line and fix any holes. Dad, that's going to take all day. Go. No. Good morning, dear. Good morning, dear. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten again. One, two, three, four, five. Make it burn. Look, Robin. Something is wrong. There were two stowaways on this ship when it left for Earth, Eric. Two children and a trilad. The children left a message for you. To Uncle Eric, I want you to understand why Tavi and I have run away. I had a choice to make. A 15-year journey to our home planet, a world I've never seen, or prove to you that we can live on this world. I had to take this chance. I had to take this chance. Nothing so far looks polluted to me. It's the cities that are supposed to be the worst, but we'll be safer there. We'll fit in better. If they catch us, will they kill us? What gives you that idea? Well... They always do on television. You can't believe everything you see on television. Besides, our people have been on Earth for years and no one's been killed. Robin, if we get to stay here, what will we do? Well, first, we'll have to find a place to live. And since you have to pay for everything here, I'll get a job. That's what people do here. They get jobs and every day they go to work.
Someone's coming. Hide. I hope I didn't frighten you. I just, I don't usually run into anyone around here. I just came up here to check the fences. We didn't mean to intrude. Oh, hey, don't run off. It's a, it's a free country. There's plenty of room out here. Are, are you guys uh, tourists? We're going to see Ronald McDonald. Oh, well, that's, that's uh, quite a walk, kid. We don't mind. Uh, hey, are you from back east? Why do you ask? Oh, I, I don't know. It's not, nothing in particular. Yes, we're from the east. I, mean, I always wanted to go there. What city are you from? Los Angeles, in Disneyland. Let's go to town, shall we, Tavi? Uh, town's that way. You can stick out like a sore thumb. Is that bad? He thinks we're right. We are. It was his first encounter of the day. Okay, of his lifetime. A beautiful girl, an angel, and her sidekick. They were fleeing the rigors of the big city for uh, whatever it is we got out of here. They were alone, lost, and frightened. And he, he, he did nothing. Why am I so stupid? What do you want? I can't leave you out here alone. This is no country to get lost in. We're not lost. Hey, look, I just came back to help you, that's all. My name is Dirk. Well, it's really Robert, but they call me Dirk. It's just that I'm such a nut about dirt bikes. I've been riding them since I was, like, four. Is it really made of dirt? <laughs> uh, no, it isn't. They call them that because you ride them off the road, over hills and fields and stuff. Yes, I saw you. So exciting. I'm Robin, and this is Tavi. Robin. It's a beautiful name. Did you guys sleep out here last night? Are these the only clothes you guys have? Is something wrong with them? No. Just don't look too warm to me. Where'd you get them? Oh, I made them. I saw them on television. Oh, yeah. That would explain it. Shh. What the hell was that? You have so many strange animals here. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's different in the city, huh? Whoa, the kid jumps pretty far. It's your gravity. Tabby's very athletic. Is there somewhere you have to be? We don't want to keep you. What's the matter? I don't know. I... It's your hair and the clothes. It's just too weird. It's just it's too weird. I can't. Don't move. Don't move. Get down. Get down. Got to be careful around here. No, don't put that down. If it's a rogue grizzly, you're going to wish I had something more than a 22. Okay. 
Stay absolutely still, and he won't hurt us. It's probably more afraid of us than we are of it. like we belong here. That is the largest city near the landing site. Teal. Teal. Call everyone you can together. We must institute a search. I'm sending Arik in tonight to follow their trail from the landing site. You begin the search from the city. Kirby is not a deformed mutant. Did I say that? I didn't say that. You didn't have to say it. You shouldn't think such things. Why do you think they'll want to kill Kirby? He hasn't hurt anyone. And we'd never do anything to hurt you. Oh, I didn't think you would. Yes, you did. No, you're too quick telling me what I think. Don't we know what you think? Please, don't be afraid. I'm not afraid. Don't argue with me. All right, well, if you can, tell me what I'm thinking right now. You're not sure what to think. I'm just, I'm just trying to think of something good. Your driver's license. I'll tell you the number, which is WY82002. Future Farmers of America. Detention slip. Library card. You have a book that's two months overdue. And who's Lisa? His mind's a mess. He's very confused. I mean, you can't just drop in on a person's brain. Well, maybe you can, but it, it's not nice. You do it all the time? That would be impolite. Oh, then it wouldn't be polite to do it to me, would it? How do we know we could trust you? We've been taught that humans routinely think one thing, but say another. Well, where do you come from? Your moon. My moon? You mean... Our people built a base on the moon so we could observe you. Well, what are you doing down here? We came to see the Pizza Hut, Dallas, MTV, and everything. We came to see what Earth is really like. Our observers have decided to return home without letting anyone know we've been here. Why? They think the people of Earth need more time before they're ready to meet a completely alien race. But I want to prove them wrong. You sit on it like this? Uh, well, yeah. How does it start? Uh, well, it's kind of complicated. I've got it. Not bad. I don't know how you did it the first time like that. So don't put it in gear. Hey, whoa! Wait, wait a minute! Come back here! 
Everyone else here, Dirt. Yeah, well, how do you plan to do that with him along? Kirby could be our pet. A pet what? Now, you, you guys better worry about yourself first. I mean, if the government ever found out that you were down here, well, who knows what would happen? Big things, big things. We won't be frightened. Besides, we have a whole world to hide in. All right, all right. I can't take you to my house. My parents would freak out. I could take it to my grandparents' house. Grandpa's, he's pretty cool. He's really special. All right. All right. Everybody get on back. Hold on real tight. Oh, what about Cousin It? Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. By the way, where did you learn how to ride like that? You taught me. my great-great-grandparents original homestead. Let's go. I want to see everything. Anybody home? <laughs> you cheat. Look, I cheat Grandpa. too, but you cheat, Lucy. You don't cheat fair. I uh, brought some friends with me. How about this weather? Windy, dusty. Yes, sir. They need a place to stay. You know, you gotta get rid of that motorcycle, son. Gotta get yourself a horse. You can trust the horse. You tell him to do things, he does it. No complaints. And he doesn't go fast. He doesn't make the wind go blowing through your brain. Doesn't drive you crazy. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, they're visiting from another planet, Grandpa. Uh, Robin and uh, Tavi. This is Lucy and my grandpa. How do you do? Well, hello there. And uh, this is Kirby. I bet you uh, know some interesting games. <laughs> well, uh, we'll have to try some, okay? Rogalano. Pesh gungsi ao. 
Ojibwe. So when did you learn how to speak Ojibwe? Huh? If you can sep, you learn just about anything. Oh, oh, you need. Anything, anything at all, you just ask Lucy, okay? Okay? Lucy, you'll take care of her? Okay, I want that to you. Really amazing. The way the world concerns itself with where I am all the time. If you did your chores before you left, we wouldn't care where you were. I know I wouldn't. I know you shouldn't. You can find your way home in time for dinner, at least. Seems like an awful lot of food, Ma. This is for the barbecue tomorrow, so you keep out of it. We'll be eating the chicken, so why don't you go get cleaned? I can't. I'm just about to leave. You've been gone all day as it is. We could use some help around here. You know how important this fundraiser is to your dad? What? I don't have to be there, do I? Robert Edward McAlpin, don't you even think about not being here tomorrow. Half the county's going to be here to meet Senator King, and I want you here. No, I'm not, I'm not feeling that political, Mom. I mean, it's Dad who wants re-elected, not me. Mm-hmm. That's because he supports what she represents. She's going to help protect this land from strip miners and developers. Well, that's great, Mom, but I still can't help her. I can't vote. Mm-hmm. That's a good thing with that attitude. Ah! CG, I told you not to wear your good slacks today. Uh, Never mind. Just go on up and change. And you be quiet. I suppose you're going to see your grandfather again. Right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Vera, would you put some potato salad in that? We didn't send food over to that old man. He'd starve. I mean, you'd think Lucy'd know by now he hates Indian food. They speak different languages. That's for sure. Hey, Vera. Here you go.
can get more scared of. Hey, listen, Kirby, I know just how you feel. I've been out of place myself. I have five guys to fix a fence and you're the sixth one? I mean, what do you do? Do you help? Do you loaf? Do you go home? Hey, Kirby, see that bucket there? That's chicken feed in there, and you take that and you feed those chickens. Yeah, that's right. We see things that others can't. Lucy, too. She sees things. All her people see things. Didn't do them a damn bit of good in the end, though. I mean, you know, most people, they look at a river, what they see? They see a river. Well, Lucy, she looks at her, she sees energies. Sees Victor forces interacting. Forces interacting with the wind, the weather. The earth itself. You don't feed the chicken feed to the goats. You feed the you just will you just feed the chickens? Leave the goats alone. Well things are changing, you know. Not like it was when we were young. Yeah. People are different. The weather is different. The whole earth is different. <laughs> Will you not scare that goat? You'll be picked up by the shuttle after the children are found. As others arrive, I'll add them to the search team. Report regularly. Right. Teal here. Yes, that's right. Things offered him. Calling 182. Calling 182. Please call the station over. Please call the station over. 182, Patterson. Patterson, Commodore Hotel. They need added security for Senator King's visit over. I'm on my way. the territories. Two minute face off on a dusty street. Be death in every move. Some guy makes you angry and backs you into a corner. Steals your wife. Spits on your dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not impressed, huh? Oh, okay. All right, now throw one up in the air. Well, that's enough for today, Ringo. But let that be a lesson to you. Never go about unprepared. That's the way it used to be. It was more personal, you know what I mean? You know, man to man. Well, the world's traded all that in now. Blow up every damn thing to hell with one big blast. I liked it better the old way. You should tell him what you really think of him. Tabby, stop sniffing me. Here he comes. Is there a color TV here? Uh, uh yeah. Well, we got a black and white one over there. I bought it for Grandpa, because he likes to watch roller derby sometimes, you know? We only get one station, though. It doesn't come in too big. Only one? We get every channel in the universe. <laughs> well, we're not that lucky. What is this food? That used to be potato salad. Why don't you go watch television, huh? 
Hi. 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 Do I look like an Earth girl now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh! Uh, you look very good. Did, did I put something on wrong? Uh, no. What I mean is you, you look a lot prettier than any girl I've ever seen. I need planet. <laughs> I'm just, uh, freaking dinner. Three golden pieces of fried chicken and a delicious roll. Your choice of coleslaw or potato salad. Only two, I said two, 99. Oh! Introducing something new and rather amazing. A super high octane gasoline with oh, twice the oh, yeah, to give you a plus. Oh, and it's oh, oh, strong oh, enough to actually clean oh, dirty oh, injectors oh, to give your car oh, power oh, and performance. Oh, it didn't oh, happen before. Oh, 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 super unleaded. Oh, yeah. With a plus. Oh, oh. So, what do you tell people who say you're wasting your time looking for aliens? Don't we have enough problems? Here Robin, they're talking about us. Everything we do is interrelated. We aim a receiving dish at the stars, and we hear the beginning of the universe and maybe its end. We transmit signals into space because we hope someone else is listening. But you think you might really meet an alien right here on Earth, don't you? Absolutely. I believe it's possible. Well, if you do, why don't you bring him on the show? Now, let's open the phone lines, and maybe someone who's met an alien will phone in. How does he do that? Trilots have much greater mental powers than we do. Kirby's just a child, but he's learning. Uh, gotta go. Hey, Connie, how's the coffee? It's fresh? Just the way you like it, lass. You're welcome. She's good. She'd like to see me go. No. Yeah. Doctors. I'll see you later. You know how sometimes it looks like the moon is touching the earth? Well, when I was a little kid, I used to think that you could just step right up onto it. It's a beautiful thought. Your hair's different. It changes color when the sun goes down. Don't you like it? Yeah, it's pretty. Do you really think I'm pretty, or is it just that I'm different? <laughs> you don't really have to ask me that, do you? It's not that easy for me, Dirt. Your thoughts and emotions are so strong, they're hard to sort out. If you guys have a base on the moon, and your ships fly back and forth all the time, how come nobody knows about it? Because our ships are invisible to your electronics, and we always land in out-of-the-way places. Why? Why not be open about it? We had to see what you were like first. We've been here a couple of years. Is that enough time? Oh, I get it. I get it. You think that we're inferior. Oh, we don't read minds. All of our pets have four legs. Is that it? I don't think you're inferior. Just underdeveloped. Oh. Now that makes all the difference in the world. No, please. It's just that you have problems here you haven't solved yet. We think it's because you don't control your emotions. Is that what you think? No, I was raised to think that we should help each other, not act superior. You guys travel billions of miles through space. You could help us solve some of our problems if you wanted to. We can't take that chance until the people of Earth learn to live together peacefully. 
You can't even get along with one another, much less people from another planet. I get along with everybody. Look, it's getting late. I'll come back tomorrow afternoon. I think we should leave in the morning. Why? We shouldn't stay in one place too long. Well, I, I agree with you. Look, I, I have to take care of something in the morning, but I'll come as soon as I can, okay? I promise. Besides, you can't leave. The moon isn't touching the Earth. The fuel you use damages the air, doesn't it? Good night. that knew their secret. It was the first time he had anything important to say, and he just couldn't tell anyone. I'm a cop now. Stuck. It's real restless out there tonight. Duke, that's your fault. <laughs> oh, you know, I wouldn't want dirt to know, but uh, I've never been to the moon myself. I won't tell him. Pretty nice, isn't it? Not really. Well, it's a good thing you left. And you came to the right place. You know, Dirt won't believe me when I tell him he's got the mark. The mark? Well, you can't always see it, but it's there. People who have it sometimes can't tell. Until the day comes when they have to live up to it. Some can and some can't. Now, his daddy don't have it. He's a nice kid, you understand, but he just don't have it. But I got great hopes for Dirt. You see something there, too, don't you? Hmm? That's the mark. You can look right inside. Sometimes you see too much and it kind of confuses you. Isn't that right? Um, I just, I just thought we could talk. Talk? Um, yeah, I mean, we're, 
we never get a chance to talk. I mean, I never ask you about your problems or what you're doing or how you feel about things. Yeah, no, CJ, I've always appreciated that. Dirt, please don't be that way. I really want to help you. I mean, if there's something that you can't talk to mom or dad about. CJ, Robert, we could use some help down here. Yeah, um, look, CJ, maybe we could just talk a little later. I just, I really can't right now. See, I really can't wait. No, no, I mean, I can't, okay? Say, Robin. Oh. Hi, Kurt. Hey, what part are you from? Taurus. That's not it. This guy who came from some other planet. Well, this was 40 years ago, you know. Probably gone back by now. Barbecue. Barbecue's a party. Out of doors, you know. Lots of good food, music, and people just having a good time. You haven't had a good time if you've been to a barbecue. People come from miles around to bring their friends. <laughs> now, what is the matter with me? There's a barbecue today. Chili, hot dogs, fireworks. Hey, hey Tabby, wouldn't you like to go to barbecue, honey? Yeah, it's much better than hanging around here. You go, you go to that barbecue. You know why we're not there, Grandpa. Dirt's afraid we won't fit in. Fit in? Well, you gotta fit in sometime. And if you don't fit in, so what's the difference? I don't fit in, I never have. And Dirt, he don't fit in, I don't know what he's talking about. You don't need no invites. <laughs> Gonna be a lot of strangers around. Are you going? No, no, I hate those things. Besides, Kirby and I got more important things to do. Hey, hey. hey, you guys look real fine. Here you are, Daddy. Thank you, Robin. Grandpa. Thanks, Grandpa. How far is it to Dirt's place? Uh, will it take us long to walk there? You don't have to walk. Minute and mountain of fresh won't she? your way. Tabby, be careful who you talk to and what you say. If it looks safe, you can play with the other kids. What about Kirby? He's staying right there with Grandpa. I don't think the people at the barbecue would accept him as a guest. Hey, Duke. You and me. We're gonna go and see some friends of mine. <laughs> they don't know about you. <laughs> we'll split the winnings right down the middle, okay? What? Okay. <laughs> Now you hold on now, Duke. What? It's gonna be a whole new experience for you. I'm sorry. There's gonna be a few hours where this mess is untangled. Road crew's not even here yet. What do you suggest? Is there any other way through? No, sir, not directly. But if you go back down this road about 10 miles, take the other highway through the city, you'll cross this road about 30 miles down. It's a long ways out of your way, but uh, move along. <laughs> Howdy, girls. Hey, what are you two doing way out here? You guys heading over to the party? We're visiting Dirt. Well, my name's Leo. 
I don't think I've seen you two around here before, have I? We're from California. Oh, really? Say, are you, are you Dirt and CG's cousins? It's funny, because he never said anything about you guys visiting. But then again, he never said he had such a pretty cousin either. Come on, ride with me. Ah! Ah! Do you want me to throw on some more ribs? You have to kick over a rock at the lizard out of the front waiting for you. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? It means you don't have the place to yourself anymore, you old big thief. <laughs> Must have been pretty dull around here without me, huh? We get by. <laughs> I wonder if I can trust you two gentlemen to keep a secret that would rock the very cosmos. And just to make it more interesting, I'll bet $20 that I've got a live critter out in the wagon, the likes of which you have never seen before. Hey, he's really got it. Is that the 20 bucks you got from Billy Hanks last spring? You still got yours? Never let it out of my sight. Let us proceed. <laughs> hey, send it. I want to meet some friends of mine. Now, these are real nice people. What you to run them out? Hey, short cheese! Duke! Oh, my. Kirby! Well, gentlemen. You stay and search the city. I'm going back to pick up the trail. On the plate. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Must be the yeah. few. Well, try again. I'm sorry. So how long are you guys going to be staying? Oh, I don't know. We may have to go anytime. This is the real thing. Excuse me, but weren't you supposed to be here two hours ago? Yeah, I was, but I had a lot of chores to do around the home. I came as fast as I could. <laughs> really? And did you have to stop and pick up your friends first? No, I didn't have to stop and pick up my friends first. These are your cousins. Well, well, here you are. Uh, why don't I just show our visitors around and I'll make them feel more at home? Okay. Uh, Guys, what are you doing here? We came to have a little fun. Are you afraid I'll embarrass you? No, no. The reason I didn't invite you is I was, I was concerned about your safety. I can take care of myself. Dirt! CG! Come here, give us a hand. Go ahead. I'm sure Leo will show us around. Yeah, it'll be my pleasure, bud. Leo? Sure will. I'd love to, pal. Anything for you. <laughs> Dirt! What is going on here? Not now. Who are those people? Don't you recognize your cousins? No. I recognize my clothes. Dirt. Come on, who are they really? Please tell me. Why are you helping them? Dirt, please 
Does it have anything to do with drugs? Oh, see, you've been watching too much television. Don't tell me, I swear. Okay, sis, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. They're aliens. Okay, they're from another planet. They uh, they read minds, and they've been living on the moon for a little while, and they've just come to visit me. So you have nothing to worry about. Oh, dirt. I told her. Welcome. How are you? Good. You remember my wife, Betsy? I sure do, Betsy. Nice to see you. Hi. Ooh, you got some spread here. Thank you. How many head of cattle you got? About 3,000. Ooh. Wish I could get them to vote. I so too. <laughs> I want you to meet my kids, Dirk. Uh, Robert, Charlotte, come on oh, over here. Miss Charlotte, what a pretty show. Uh, Where's your button? Oh. Don't hide that button. How are you, Robert? Hi. You kids aren't old enough to vote, are you? No. Good, then we don't need to lie to each other. Leave me to the chili. <laughs> Myrna, why, why do you want to make that speech? Oh, after we eat, Bobby. Can't talk on an empty stomach. But you can tell Edward where to put those posters. Oh. Jasper, where did you get it? Would you believe it if I told you? It's what I thought. <laughs> Come on, Kirby, let's go. <laughs> oh, what you want? a lot of chances, I think. Stop treating me as if I'm different. Deep down, I'm not. I came here to show you we could fit in, to prove it to you. I have to prove it to you, to my people, and to myself. Are you going to help me or not? You hungry? Then you want me here? I always wanted you here. I was afraid for you guys. I had to join a party for a while, Geronimo. Why don't you stay right here? I don't think these people are quite ready for you yet. <laughs> there were these beautiful white haired people, and they heard these radio signals, so they went on an expedition to find out if the people were friendly. And with them was the race called the Trilats, who had these wonderful powers. And they were highly intelligent, too. Make things with their eyes, and the adult Trilats can put things back together. And the planet they found was called Earth. And sometimes they even looked down from the moon to find out if the people were friendly. And if they were, they would come down to Earth and be great, great, Friends with them all. Wait, 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 yeah, yeah, wait, no, no, go, stay. Well, I think it's flooded. I wish I got the car fixed. So, what do we do now? Have you been there? Lots of times. Did you see Colonel Sanders? Nah, 
I think he's only on TV. Oh, like, yep, uh, like. One, one, two. How long you been setting up these fireworks? Oh, for a few years now. Your pretty friend? Uh, yeah, Robin. That's my father. Pleasure. Why don't you come along with me? I know my wife would love to meet you. Yo! Till I found Robin. She's at a ranch 20 miles east of town. There's some sort of party going on here. Have you ever lived on a ranch? No, but, uh... I understand this kind of life. Living close to nature, building on the land, interacting with the planets. My parents were botanists. I guess we can inherit a lot from our parents. Probably more than we know. Now, mine didn't have any degrees or titles or anything. They, uh, they were pioneers, really. People who are willing to set out for the unknown, try to find something wonderful out there. So were mine. Mine too. Uh, we'll catch up with you later, Dad. She's strange. <sighs> Interesting. Sort of otherworldly. <laughs> That's what you used to say about me. No. I said you were out of this world. Big difference. Oh. Robert, introduce me to your friend. I want you to listen to this. Uh, sure, son of a... Uh, uh, Robin, this is Myrna King. Myrna King, Robin. How are you, Robin? You could help me out if you would. I'm interested in a young woman's point of view. I'd like to know what you want for the future, what you think our biggest problem is. You have to realize that this world is alive and that everyone and everything is a part of it. Yes, that's very good. Are you listening? Uh, sure, I'm, Senator. Go on. Can't drink dirty water and breathe dirty air and eat poison crops. And you can't treat your neighbors as if they're on a different planet because they aren't. No, they aren't indeed. Why can't you write speeches yes, like that? Senator. She's absolutely right. Oh, I know. I knew that. But she said it. I've been telling people the same thing, but I never put it as well as you just did. But that's all going to change now, isn't it, Edward? I'd like you to come and work on this campaign with me. You could really help us out. <laughs> You left Herbie with Grandpa, didn't you? Yes. That's what I thought. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> that's, uh, what, I'm what I'm talking. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. All right. I'll Still let you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you brought him down to the bar? Not here, Grandpa. And don't you worry about old Geronimo. He's got more than a ball that you and me put together. You better believe it. I do believe it. I just don't think it's any good having him running around with a whole crowd of people. You want me to help? I'll do it. What are you so glum about? Nobody in the whole world's got more than you got right this minute. Oh, boy, 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 boy,
secret this turned out to be. I saw it. I know what's going on. Let's get a hold of yourself. They're what, aliens from the moon. They put a spell on dirt. Daddy. What are you talking about? They have strange powers. They put a spell on dirt. They're from the moon. Which Siege, is... Siege, calm down. Now, these are dirt's friends. Why is it nobody ever listens to me? myself but seriously i'm here to talk about something very dear to my heart now a young woman among you one of our very own you know what's going on here, don't you, Dad? Uh, Dirt's a good boy. You know, I ought to tell you, right now, right at this minute, he's the most important person on Earth. You wouldn't believe me, would you? <laughs> I don't play this. But it doesn't matter. He's a real fine boy. He's going to be all right. Don't have to worry about him. <laughs> I got one hell of a family. I'm sorry about all this, Robert. It's a sad day when you can't go to visit your friends without somebody taking a shot at you. Well, you know, I don't think this had anything to do with your visit, Myrna. I really don't. Well, it was a good party up until then, wasn't it? Next time you come to see me, all right? All right. You bet. Now, I don't know what to do now. I knew somebody was going to spot him. I knew it. We have to go back. We can't go back. Everybody's going crazy at my house. Not to the ranch, to the moon. We have to go back to our own people. What are you talking about? I don't want you to leave. I don't want you to go back to the moon or any other planet. I want you to stay right here with me. God, how did you do that? It wasn't me. Kirby did it. That's why we have to go back, Dirt. Kirby's powers are so strong, he needs special training to learn how to use them wisely. After all, he's only a child. Then we better wait for an ambulance? Yeah, no, no. Take too long to get out of here. I gotta get him into a hospital now. Easy. Take it easy. If you could take us to the city, I think we can find our people there. They'll take care of us.
Get a blood pressure. I shot this man. I don't want him to die. And it, that looks to me like he's bleeding to death. Bullet. Doctor, but can't, can't you do something to stop the bleeding here? What's the trouble here? What's What's the 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 doctor in charge here? The pupils are dilated. Be, nurse. What's that pressure? I, I'm trying. I, I don't understand here. Th there must be something wrong. What the hell is this? I never saw no, a reading like that before. This patient is in quarantine. I want a full team in here. Nobody else comes in or goes out. Seal it. Sir, this city is bigger than I realized. There was a spy scare in Aladdin today at a political fundraiser held at the McAlpin Ranch. Reports are sketchy, but the incident may have involved an assassination attempt on Senator Myrna King, who is campaigning for re-election. An intruder set off the fireworks and was shot in the ensuing melee. Uncle Eric. What? That's my Uncle Eric. Your uncle? He's in trouble and it's all my fault. Don't you see? He was probably looking for us. The injured man was taken to Memorial Hospital. Well, unless they're keeping it from the press, I don't... I don't think that they could know that he's not human. Well, it won't take him long to find out in a hospital. This doesn't match anything I've ever seen. These blood cells are unrecognizable. The color, morphology, cellular types, it's all wrong. Well, he needs a transfusion. What are we going to give him? I don't know. I can't type this blood. You thought he was an assassin? Yeah. But it wasn't a gun. I don't, I don't know what he was doing out there. He, uh, he had this thing. I don't know what it is. to do something, Dirt. We have to get him out of there. How are we going to do that? I don't know. Well, we could drive up and just, just ask for him. No. I'll think of something. Who are those guys? That's Liff and Teal, the people we've been looking for. It's all right. She's safe with them. Hey, maybe we could tell them about your uncle. They'd help you out, wouldn't they? No. I've endangered them too much already. told the police anything. Well, shouldn't we notify someone? Who? Who's going to know what to do in a situation like this? His vital signs seem to be getting weaker, but we don't even know what his vital signs are supposed to look like. I'm not telling the police anything until I know what I'm talking about. You better send a team over here. I don't think I can handle this alone. Tell me where he is. This building is filled with electronic devices. It's difficult to get through. Wait, Robin, wait a second. Let's think about this. OK. Look, it's 10 o'clock now. What, what if we just wait till 10.30, 30 minutes, and maybe this way, less people will be around. It'll be that much easier. Do you really think we can do this? Grandpa always says that you can do anything you want to, anything at all, as long as nobody tells you how impossible it is. I would have thought you were impossible two days ago. You mean people from space? No. 
just you. Okay, so when we get Uncle Eric out of here, and we will, what happens then? Just, just going back. He's in a room behind this wall. What are they doing in there? Oh, my God. No! No. You must rest. You need not reprove yourself, Doctor. There's little you could do to help me. I thank you for trying. No, I must get back to where I belong soon, or else I'm afraid no one will be able to help me. I, I understand, but you're very weak. Kirby. I... I need a door here. Okay, nothing, nothing too fancy. Now, just, just lie, lie back. I just have enough strength to make it. Okay. Let's get the cars. Quarantine, huh? Great. Working on it, Robin.
Robin? Robin! You were dead. I do not want to report this. I welcome you. I also thank you for your efforts on my behalf. It was a noble gesture. I was just helping out. Maybe you don't know humans as well as you thought. I'm not sure at all. I think it is too easy for us to read thoughts and then judge. It is more difficult to read hearts, but more important. Your emotional makeup is different from ours or at least we thought it was. And because of that, we have distrusted your motives. Well, now you know better. Let's give our scientists a phone call and we can work together. I'm afraid not. Not at this time. We went about this the wrong way, we admit. And because of it, we now have the very situation we wanted to avoid. Your world is on the alert. News organizations are investigating. The people are frightened. We have no choice but to withdraw and hope for a better opportunity in the future. You're leaving anyway. One day we will return in a more forthright manner, I assure you. If we return, it will be because of people like you, people who believe in the future. You can serve as our outpost, as it were, until then. You know it is too dangerous for us here at this time, do you not? We really must go. We have no choice. Dirt, I have a present for you. Low through here. Then you'll hear music. Thanks. Hey, boy, you better get rid of that scooter, huh? We must go back. You say that because you have something to go back to. But I have a different choice to make. I 
it's time to live. If you really love her, you make a wish. And you make it stick. <laughs> 